Hello everybody, this is Paul. Thank you for watching today. Today I'll be showing you how to write one variable in terms of another. So here we have an equation of a line, and if you can't tell this is an equation of a line, don't worry about it. I'll get to that in a later tutorial. But basically we want to rewrite this as y equals some combination of everything else. So in order to do that, the first step we need to take is we need to move all of the y's to one side of the equation. So we're just going to get rid of all these y's on this side, and because we took them away on one side, we want our answers to be equivalent. So we have to take the same amount away on the other side. 1y, take away 8y's, gives us negative 7y's. And we didn't change the numbers, we didn't change the x's, so those simply stay the same. And once again, the x's and the numbers didn't change, so we just rewrite those. And a positive 8y and a negative 8y simply give us 0. So now we have all the y's on the left hand side, which is good, but we still have some numbers and some x's over here. So we need to move those to the other side. So the way we do that is we just take away all the numbers here. And we'll have to take away the same amount from this side. So we didn't change the y's, that stays the same. A positive 4 and a negative 4 simply give us 0. And a negative 2x is just negative 2x. Now we didn't change the x's over here, we re rewrite that. We have negative 3 and we're taking 4 more away, so that gives us negative 7. Now we have some x's over here we need to move to the other side. So we're just going to add two x's so that those will cancel. And we have to add those to the other side as well. Didn't change the y's, so that stays the same. A negative 2x and a positive 2x simply give us 0. And 4x's, adding two more x's to that gives us 6x's. And we just rewrite the 7, or the negative 7 that is. So now we have negative 7y is equal to 6x minus 7. And we want to write this as y equals some combination of everything else. So the way to do that is we need to divide this by negative 7. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So we divide each of these terms by a negative 7 as well. Now, a negative 7 divided by a negative 7 is simply just 1. And 1 times y is simply y, so we'll just go ahead and rewrite y equals here. And 6x over 7, we can take the negative from the denominator and just move it out in front. And that doesn't change anything, so we're just going to go ahead and rewrite that first term as negative 6 over 7 times x. So this is an equivalent statement. I didn't really change anything here. We just kind of moved the negative side out front. And for this term, we can move the negative sign into the numerator. And in order to do that, we simply add, and then we put the negative 7 up top, and we just leave the bottom the same. Now any number divided by itself is simply 1. So we can rewrite this as y equals negative 6 over 7x plus 1. And so now this expression right here is exactly the same as what we started with, all this stuff up here. But it's written in a much, much simpler form. And this is actually the slope-intercept form of the line which is really useful, and I'll be showing you that in some tutorials pretty soon. So anyway, that's how you write one variable in terms of another. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and uh, as always, have a great day, and we'll see you next time.